Pepe is still here, still ranked in the top 70. We're going to dive into some specifics, though, in this video, guys. If you enjoy this Pepe coin content, you want me to keep putting it out there, keeping you up to speed on everything, make sure you guys are locked in. Subscribe down below. Hit that ring. Uh, hit that notification bell. Ring that notification bell. There we go. And uh, let me know that you want this style content. Don't forget to hit the like button as well. All right, so what's going on with Pepe right now? Well, we're, we're down, actually. We're down about 10%. We could take a look at the charts here. And stick around to the end of this video, guys, because we're going to dive into something that Pepe has done even better than Shiba Inu during its infancy stages here. Now, time will tell, right? But we're going to dive into something that's very, very big for Pepe because, let's face it, Shib is the top dog, and what they were able to accomplish was nothing short of amazing. Pepe still has to do it over a long period of time, but we'll dive into that in just a little bit. So we were consolidating here, guys pretty much bouncing off of this 16 level for quite some time since Monday. You could see any time we reached this level, we bounced. Here, here, mid-16, we bounced. Mid-16, we bounced. Mid-16, we bounced. Well, we got there yesterday uh, and into the wee hours of this morning. We got there again. We didn't bounce. Look at this. Big sell-off. These are hourly candlesticks. So now we're sh uh, showing some pot uh, pot potential retracement up from these levels. We are seeing some consolidation here in the last hourly candles. These are the last three, four hours right here. So we'll see if we bounce off. But it is offering a potential opportunity to buy the dip if you think this falling knife is going to stop here at the 15 level. Keep in mind, we did dip all the way down to the 11 range not too long ago, about five days ago, last Friday, and then we had the big momentum back upwards. All right, so we could come back down and retest this 11 level uh, as we don't really have a ton of support kind of left at this current level. We'll see if we can create some new support here, and we are starting to paint a green candle slightly here. Uh, but I want to take you inside this. This is more macro here, what's going on with Pepe. So Pepe displays a quicker growth pattern compared to SHIB, and this is coming from Masari. So meme crypto Pepe has shown a staggering rate of growth. The firm reported that the average value per holder of Pepe calculated by the market cap value per holder shows a very similar but accelerated growth pattern when compared to SHIB. Now, Pepe holders have been seeing immense profits. We know that. The altcoin has displayed a nearly 5 uh, million percent rise in just a few weeks. This remarkable increase culminated in a peak of that 4.3 level, uh, and that's the 5.043. Given the coin a market cap of $1.8 billion, we were on stream during this. We streamed for seven hours that day. Make sure you guys go back and check that out. And again, we're covering Pepe all the time, so stay locked in by hitting that subscribe button down there. However, since reaching its zenith, uh, the Pepe token has corrected, and it's currently down about 62% from its all-time high, but to be expected, right? Adding to remarkable performance here of Pepe, a viral tweet highlighted the speed at which Pepe reached a $1 billion market cap. It took Pepe just 19 days to hit this milestone, a feat that took SHIB 279 days, Ethereum 287 days, Bitcoin 1,579 days, and Dogecoin a staggering 2,585 days. This underlines the extraordinary pace of Pepe's growth. That is insane right there. I'm going to actually grab that and probably tweet it. Um, pretty nuts. Yet, despite these promising numbers, it's important to highlight the volatile and unexpected nature of crypto. Pepe's rapid rise has captured attention, but investors should be aware of the inherent risks associated with these types of investments. So I'll say this, while this is an unbelievable stat, it's unbelievable for Pepe that they reach this $1 billion mark cap so quickly. It's now all about sustainability. How long can you sustain and keep this thing going. Here's the other thing. Pepe hasn't had a ton of adversity just yet. SHIB has. Ethereum has. Bitcoin has. Dogecoin has. So we'll see what happens when Pepe hits that adversity. How will it respond? How will the investors respond? Will we see what happened with Shiba Inu play out with Pepe, where people became uh, or were started as short-term traders, only looking to make a quick buck, to becoming long-term investors. And in order for that to happen, I think Pepe as a community has to make that transition from just a meme to utility, right? That's what SHIB did. That's why holders are still here because that community is still active. 
The dev team is still doing things. Their largest utilities are still coming out when it comes to ship. So those are the next phases for Pepe. Of course, we're still early days here, and uh, we'll be covering everything Pepe. We cover everything SHIB always as well, and everything cryptocurrency. We talk about ETH. We talk about Bitcoin. We talk about Cardano. We talk about macroeconomic factors. If any of that stuff interests you, click that subscribe button down below. Appreciate you guys as always. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.